Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to learn a language two times faster by learning in pairs. And no, this does not mean learning with another person. But if you're looking for a way to learn more, improve faster, and do both input and output instead of just focusing on one language skill at a time, then this month's episode is for you. You'll discover one, how learning in pairs gets you mastering more of the language, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. But first, if you're looking for some free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Looking at the Universe Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new Conversation Cheat Sheet, you'll learn words like star, planet, the moon, and much more. Second, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF eBook. Third, 15 love phrases for Valentine's Day. If you don't yet know any romantic phrases, then this bonus is for you. You'll learn to say romantic phrases like, you're beautiful, I have a crush on you, and more. Fourth, can you talk about books in your target language? Learn how to say novel, fiction, fantasy, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And fifth, 20 must know words and phrases for taking tests. Learn how to say pass, fail, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. So, how can you learn a language in pairs? Part one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. First, what's learning in pairs exactly? Think about it. When we study a language, a lot of the time we focus on one skill at a time, right? For example, one day you'll focus on grammar, another day you'll focus on speaking. For the most part, we only focus on one skill at a time. Learning in pairs is combining two skills, pairing them up. For example, reading and writing, listening and speaking, and grammar and vocabulary, just like that. Why do this? Is there anything wrong with focusing on one thing at a time? Not at all. Any time you spend learning is time well spent. But learning in pairs has some advantages and can help you master a language faster. Number one, it's a better use of your time. For example, instead of spending 10 minutes on a word list, you can spend five minutes reviewing and the other five minutes saying those words out loud. So that would involve vocabulary and speaking. So you improve two skills at the same time and you end up remembering the words better because you're practicing them in two different ways. Number two, you're forced to do input and output. Input is where you take the language in, like reading or listening, and output where you produce the language, like speaking or writing. That way, you get to practice what you learn instead of just passively taking it in. And passively taking things in isn't the best way to actually speak the language fluently. You need practice. So by including output, you're actively including practice into every session that you do. And number three, learning in pairs breaks up the monotony of doing one thing at a time. You might also wonder, do the skills have to be related? They can be, like listening and speaking or reading and writing, but it's really up to you and what works for you. In the next part, we'll show you some examples of pairs and how to practice them with our program. But to recap, learning in pairs means pairing up two skills, like reading and writing, speaking and listening, grammar and writing, grammar and speaking, as well as other variations that you can come up with. So if you read for five minutes, you should also write for five minutes or speak for five minutes instead of reading for 10 minutes. Plus, words and grammar rules tend to stick better when you practice them in different ways. This is a learning tactic called interleaving. So here's how you can learn in pairs with our learning program. Part two, how you can apply this tactic to your learning. First, for listening and speaking, take our audio and video lessons. Listen to the conversations and shadow along, or repeat what you hear. 
To make it easier, download the dialogue tracks, which give you just the conversations, and listen and shadow along with them. For reading and writing, you can read the lesson dialogue and then write it out. You can do this with the line-by-line -line dialogue or with our lesson notes. So reading and writing, listening and speaking, these are the most obvious pairs to do. You can also try grammar and speaking. For every grammar rule you learn in our lessons, spend an equal amount of time creating and saying example sentences out loud. For example, if you learned the potential form, I am able to, or I can, come up with and say lines like, I'm able to run fast, I am not able to run fast, I can jump, I cannot jump, and then say them out loud. You can also do this while pairing grammar and writing. For every rule you learn in our lessons, write out the example sentences. Next, you can also try vocabulary and speaking. Use our free vocabulary lists. Review them first for five minutes, and then spend the next five minutes saying them out loud. You can also try listening and writing. If you're an intermediate or an advanced learner, listen to a lesson conversation and write it out as you hear it. Or, if you want something easier, play our vocabulary builder lessons, where you hear just the words and write them out. These are just a few examples of how to learn in pairs. Feel free to create other pairs that we haven't mentioned. And let us know which ones you came up with and how they worked for you. Leave a comment! So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the halfway point and how to keep going with language learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.